I bought a Mini 3 Pro in 2024, and that begs the question, why? Why not buy the Mini 4 Pro? After all, the Mini 4 Pro is a more advanced drone than the Mini 3 Pro. But is it really? The obvious answer to that is, well, of course it is. It has better video features, it has waypoint capability, the O4 transmission system, and 360 degrees obstacle avoidance. The Mini 3 Pro has none of these. So why buy a Mini 3 Pro in 2024? No, don't! To save a few bucks? No, don't! You see, I believe that the Mini 3 Pro, in one very important way, is a much more capable drone than the Mini 4 Pro. But I know what you're thinking. How can that be? The more I fly my drones, the more I am convinced that drones were meant to fly autonomous missions. And that means being able to plan your flights ahead of time with waypoints. When I discovered that my Mavic 3 Classic could fly waypoint mission, I jumped right into it and I have flown many more waypoint mission than any other type of mission ever since. But the more I became familiar with the DJI Waypoint Planner, the more I became disenchanted with it. I wanted more sophisticated features, like the ability to plan my mission on the large screen of my Mac, as opposed to the tiny screen of my RC Pro, or to preview my mission right on my computer screen, or being able to really zoom in on the map for real accurate waypoint positioning, and on and on. The DJI Mission Planner works just fine, but it is very basic. I wanted something much more powerful so I could get the type of shot that I was looking for. And I knew that there is no way that I am the first and only pilot to have ever come to that conclusion. So I figured that there has got to exist solution to my problem out there. Sure enough, I found out that there are third-party mission planning software with companies like DroneLinks, Leechy, Maven, and many others. So I downloaded the DroneLink free trial mission planner to see what it was all about. I immediately fell in love with it, for it gave my Waypoint mission a whole new dimension. Moreover, when I tried going back to planning my Waypoint mission using the DJI planner, I got so frustrated when compared to using the third-party platform that I simply could not use it anymore. It just felt very limited and frustrating. But it didn't matter for, or so I thought, I had found the perfect setup. All I had to do was purchase a third-party mission planning software, which I did, plan my missions on my Mac, and then fly my Waypoint mission using my Mavic 3 Classic. Great! Problem solved. Well, not quite, for the Mavic 3 series is unfortunately not compatible with third-party Waypoint Mission Planner. A quick parenthesis on this point, I am focusing here on the DJI prosumer drones, and I am not talking about commercial drones like the Enterprise models, which are much more expensive. You see, Enterprise models aside, there are very few DJI drones which are compatible with third-party mission planners. What I discovered is that all the DJI drones which have Waypoint mission planning available natively are not compatible with third parties and vice versa. The DJI drones that do not feature DJI Waypoint mission capability are in turn compatible with third-party mission planning software. That includes the Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, the Air 2, and the Mini 2, and that's more or less about it. I was really puzzled by all that. It made no sense to me. Why is it that some DJI drones are compatible with third-party mission planners, but not others? What I learned is that for a third-party mission planning software to be able to smoothly and safely integrate with a DJI drone, DJI needs to give the third party access to the drone controls, like ascending and descending and accelerating, turning, etc. The way DJI is able to do that is by writing what is known as an SDK, which stands for Software Development Kit. 
Without the SDK, the third party cannot easily communicate with the drone. And so far, at least, DJI has only written SDKs for very few drones, like the Mini 3 Pros, for example. If you take the Mini 4 Pro, or any of the Mavic 3, or the Air 3, there is no SDK available, and so those drones cannot be operated with any third-party solution. That limits you to using the DJI Mission Planner, which, in my opinion anyway, is an inferior product. For someone like me, who uses a drone primarily to fly waypoint missions, this means that the Mini 3 Pro is actually a much more attractive drone than the Mini 4 Pro. That is why I chose the Mini 3 Pro over the Mini 4 Pro even in 2024. <laughs>